Hello there, and welcome to my playthrough of The Road to El Dorado. Now, please note that this is probably the second time that I am recording. The first time the uh, recording software that I used messed up. So I've already kind of figured out how to play it and stuff. Again. This is, uh... This is my childhood right here. This game I used to play constantly. I think you guys will enjoy this. El Dorado! Yes, El Dorado! What an adventure! What a story! Who would believe it? Who could possibly tell it? Tulio, you are the hero. You must tell it. No, Miguel, please. You are the hero. You must tell it. Yes, I will. But, uh, where do I start? We were in Spain. Yes? In the marketplace. Yes? It was morning. No, it was evening. It was morning. We had just woken. From our siesta, it was evening. Am I telling the story? You're the hero. Compromise. That's a deal. It was midday in the marketplace in Spain. Hey, look, Tulio. That's us. Oh, no. It's nice to be wanted, isn't it? This isn't hugs and kisses wanted, Miguel. This is thrown into a stinking cell and forgotten about wanted. Oh. We'd better get out of town and quick. And we'd better keep away from the town guards, too. The town guards, too. That was terrible. I'm sorry. This poster worries me, Miguel. It certainly brings out your worst features. You're a true friend. Anybody watching? No. Kind of reminds me of Flynn Rider and the posters. Oh, snap, I forgot the controls. They're weird. For him to go right, you gotta go right. For him to go left, you gotta press left. Oh, run in circles. My Z is running. No, don't go towards the guard. Greetings, corn! Could you give me a- Give me one pers- One p here you go. And here you go. One small bag of corn. I'm gonna buy corn. Just trust me on this. Greetings! What do you sell? Chickens! Finest quality! Oh? How much for a chicken? Twenty pesetas. Very reasonable. You know, he asks, uh, what does he sell, and chickens are right there, along with the cages. How come there's only two sellers at this marketplace? I don't understand that. There's corn, it's right there. Ah, I just walked right through him. Miguel, you just walked right through him, too. Chick, chick, chicky! Yum! Lovely corn! Uh, Say goodbye to freedom, bird. Oh, that's mean. It's eaten all our corn! Who cares? We're one chicken up on the deal. He runs funny. That's far enough, lads. If you want to get onto the docks, you'll have to pay the dock tax. How much? 20 pesetas for men, free for women. Come on, Miguel. How much for a chicken again? 
20 pesetas for a lovely corn-fed chicken. What will you give me for this uh, splendid free-range chicken? Five pesetas. What? But you sell them for 20. That's how the market works, mister. Buy low, sell high. This is an outrage. Haven't I seen your face before? Five pesetas, eh? We'll take it. Come on, what's the point of haggling if you can't get a higher price for your chicken? I could have gotten probably ten, at least. Maybe more. Oh, hey, mister, your feet can be Hello, seen through friends. the table. Hello, my friends. Would you care to indulge in a game of chance? What's the game? Dice. This is our chance to make enough money for the dock tax, Miguel. Oh, yes! The bones are my friends. I'm in. Excellent. How much can you wager? Five pesetas. Ah, now you're talking. Show me the money and we can play. Okay, we've got enough money to get into your dice game. Let's play! <laughs> Such enthusiasm. The dice await, gentlemen. The rules are simple. The first player rolls two. The second player decides with and chooses how much. No more than f the first player. Uh, what if the second player? Then the first player. We take turns at be. Okay. I say higher. I'll wager two pesetas. I'll match that. An eight. You win. Very well. Your turn. Now. Do you want to bet you'll roll higher? Higher! Higher. How much would you like to wager, my friend? I'll wager... Three. Three pesetas. I have no more money. Then we'll be on our way. It's been delightful doing business with... Wait, one more wager. But you're cleaned out, man. Not money. Something far more precious. That's Gems? the fastest game no. I've ever played. This map. A map? Imagine my excitement. A map. We're gone. Have a nice day. A map of what? A map. Showing the secret road to El Dorado. El Dorado? The city of gold? El Dorado, the city of fairy tale, you mean? It doesn't exist, Miguel. It's just a trick to fool. El Dorado. Oh, brother. The wager is simple. If I win, I'm back in the game. If you win, you get the map. And the money. No, I keep the money. What? Cheapskate. The map's worth a million times more than these few coins. We agree. Are you crazy? Please, Tulio, it's the real thing, I know it. Of course, if you doubt your skill. Hey, the dice stay hot for me. Then prove it. I will. You'd better be right about that map, Miguel. An eleven. You pair of con men, you've won my map. Maybe, but we're not getting any money out of this. Cares about the money, Tulio. We've got the map to El Dorado. Well, I'm just quivering with excitement about that, Miguel. Just wait until we're at the fabled city of gold. Yeah, fabled has in non-existent. Come on, let's go. Hey, Pablo, you'll never guess. Oh, what is it, Inigo? Those villains, Miguel and Tulio, have been spotted in the town. Oh, goodness, how frightful. Come, Inigo, we must prevent them from leaving.
Those two villains have been spotted in town. How frightful. I'm sorry. Wait, where am I going? Ah, oh. oh, you. I am the Great Malazo. Oh! A toilet of great repute. My name is known, adored, beloved, from Seville to distant Butte. Oh, Malazo! Who's that? Don't know. Good day. I'm Tulio, and, uh, greetings and salutations. I am the Great Malazo. We heard. Oh, of course. My fame has spread all across the world. No, we heard it from you just now. So, you fight bulls for a living. Any good at it? Any good? Any good? Do you know who I am? Remind me. I am the Great Malazo, conqueror of El Diablo. El Diablo? The devil? I defeated the devil in bovine form. The devil looked like a bull? Right. Okay. He's crumbled in the head, Tulio. Come on, let's go. Oh, I'm just checking one thing. Hello. I stand here and make sure nobody opens. Doesn't sound very. In this line of work, excitement. Oh, really? Behind the biggest, most e. You. He's never been it. So, if you want to. Don't get El Diablo mad at you. Have you ever heard of the Great Malazo? The Wretch Malazo, you mean. The Dolt Malazo. The Boggle Eyed Fool Malazo. Friend of yours, is he? That pathetic fool? Never. He does say he beats El Diablo. <laughs> he ran around like a wet hen for so long, El Diablo grew bored chasing him. Hmm. He does claim to have defeated El Diablo. Let him face El Diablo again, and we'll see who is defeated. The bull will remember him? El Diablo never forgets a face, despite seeing more of that coward's behind. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Okay, dang it, Tulio! Stop it! We've seen where El Diablo is kept. He's a real monster! Yes, and only I, the Great Malazo, was able to conquer him. I guess you're the real thing, alright. Hey! Why don't we take a stroll over there, and you can tell us all about it. To El Diablo? Yes, your greatest battle. He is securely locked up, isn't he? Behind a big, strong gate. Very well, then. Yes, uh, I, the Great Malazo, shall tell you of my glorious victory. Follow me. You're my hero, Malazo! It's surprising how many American accents are here, especially with the Great Malazo having a Italian accent before, and then suddenly American when he's nervous. You! You have the nerve to return here! I fear nothing. By the way, that gate really is secure, isn't it? Craven Worm, Poppin' Jay, Hoi Polloi, Churl. What did you call me? Um, nothing. I can't bear the sight of you, you coward. If you won't leave here, then I shall. Good day. And I'd advise you two to have as little to do with that phony as possible. 